Okay, today we're going to talk about the handle library. So we're going to go to our hardware library in our polls tab. There's lots of tabs here, but we're going to deal with the polls today. Uh, so, oops. We have a few pre-set up here, but let's make a brand new one. We'll call it 128 millimeter. Here you can set up a cost, 15 bucks a handle, 50% markup because we're crazy, and 10 bucks to install it. And this is a handle. So here, this little bo box here lets you import a SketchUp model. I'll show you how to import SketchUp models into Mosaic later. Here you go, we're just going to pick a traditional bar pole. Bar pole door, and then we need the bar pole for the drawer. This is the orientation in which it's drawn. This is the thickness of the handle, so it's probably a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch. Width of the handle, uh, let's just say six inches. This is the distance from the top of the door down to the center of where you want it on a door. So. If I have a 128 millimeter handle plus I want it two inches down from the top and we'll so we'll hold it like that for now. Oops. Now we can just leave it at that. So Distance from the top, we're going to make it two inches down, so 7.039. If you have a rail here, you may want to line it up with the rail. This is the uh, center of the handle. This is the offset from the edge to the center of where your pole holes are going to be. Let's just say two inches here. Uh, hole diameter, this is if you're drilling it on your machine, which we do, so I'm going to say 5 millimeters. Well, I can see we're drawing it in millimeters, and these dimensions are going to be all screwed up. Uh, Windows Shift S in Windows 10 will highlight what you're doing. And this little box comes up. Hel helpful if you're trying to... Uh, transfer something over that you're going to have to erase. So I'm going to have to change this to, I'm going to put this in my other monitor here, but it's helpful if you're trying to copy numbers. So here we have six, here we have 0.25, here we have 7.039, and here we have two. And now we're back to millimeters. So we have a five millimeter hole. This is the separation of the hole, which we know is 128 millimeters. Uh, this here is if you want to drill the front of the drawer box. Uh, and you can even use it to align your drawer face if you want to. Um, these two buttons are strictly if you're drilling it on, doing work on the CNC. So uh, I'll leave them unchecked for now and I'll show you the difference. So this here will make a vertical handle. And now if if you don't put anything here, it's just going to make it uh, right in the center. Center this way, center that way. Uh, the front height. So what I usually do is I have a six and three quarter door at the top. So I'm going to say zero to six and three quarters. Zero from the top. Zero is just going to make it centered. Uh, anything from six and three quarters on. I want to be three inches from the top. Now, this is a drawer, so we're just going to see that you have a a drawer that's super wide you may want to add two pulls so if it's 36 or wider you can add two pulls 
you can set your edge clearance so you need uh, we'll say 10 inches we'll see what that looks like okay so let's click OK here I'm gonna go to our job and we're gonna select that handle which we called 28 millimeter full test Okay, so you can see that it's not good for this type of door, but if I use a slab door, uh, we'll just change this all to slab doors. Set yourself up some templates so you don't have to do all this gobbledygook show you how to do that later I have templates but they're outdated so uh, they need to be updated when you import them it gives you a bunch of errors so we just need to update those okay so if you have a handle like this let's go back to our main drawing as you can see you have your handle three inches three inches from the top now centered on here and let's just make sure that our width stretching is working and then we'll automatically dump two handles in I feel like this door is a little bit too far down so we're just gonna we're gonna fix that let's go back to hardware this location let's say five and a half inches let's see what that looks like much better okay so simple as that you can very easily parametrically set up handles if you need to override a handle in a certain uh, location let's say for instance this is super skinny and you need a 96 millimeter pole because it's now too wide for this it's still going to come up on the door so what you have to do is double click it go to the face tab override and there you can select your pull you can set up one that's a 96 millimeter so another way to do that is if you go to your info tab and you go to your pulls you can select here, override it this way. It'll separate it between doors and drawers. So you can select here, you know, whatever, 96 mil instead. And then we'll swap it out for your 96 mil template. Now, if you want to add drilling, right now we have no drilling on the parts. We do have drilling on the doors. We don't have drilling on the doors, sorry. Oh, sorry, we, we actually do have drilling on the doors because I set the diameter uh, for the holes. Uh, I was just looking at that on panel instead. So if I open this up, you can see it's on, drilling it on the back side right now, which is what you would want if you're doing the hinge cup holes on the CNC. That way it drills your everything on the same face. It's just gonna drill this as a through hole. Okay, now if I go to the drawer front, you can see I don't have handle holes there. Let's go to here, hardware pulls, and if we select this, it's going to drill it on the face side of the door instead of the back. And then if you select this, it's going to drill holes in the drawer box itself. I'll show you what that does. Go to your parts tab, open this up, edit operations. Now you have holes on the face 
but you also have holes uh, on the other side. So you have flip side operations on both sides. You can, you're best off to just drill it from the other side. But if you have to, you can zoom in and right click and move it to the opposite face. That works for many other samples as well. So usually you'd want to have it all on the same side so you don't have to flip it every time. The other thing that does is it adds your drawer front and gives you two holes there. Um, we've had somewhat good success using these holes to align the actual drawer front, um, but I think there's something missing on our end to get it perfect. I'm not sure what that is yet, but there's some number that's going on that's not making it perfect. But ultimately, it's a really great tool, and I like the... Uh, I like that it's an option. Uh, I think that's about it for handles. And if you have any questions, just leave some in the comments.